Good morning! Buenos dias, mis chulas. Welcome back to another vlog. So today I thought our vlog would be centered around travel, how I prep to travel, what I pack, how I pack it. Um, we are actually leaving to San Francisco, to the Bay, to Richmond, exactly. I always say San Francisco just because I feel like it's like San Francisco's everything, but we're specifically going to Richmond to visit anyone's family, which I'm super excited about. I love going out there. Um, there's just a sense of just family and... Uh, I don't know. I just love being out there. So I'm super excited to go and then we're also gonna be going to Napa Which I'm also very very excited about because I have never been to Napa and to think that it's here in Northern California and I've never been there. So I'm super super excited about that um, We're only gonna be staying in Napa for one day We're leaving we leave to San Francisco Friday and then we are leaving to Napa on Sunday to Monday And then we come back because we're actually going to Disney on Tuesday so we have a pretty busy weekend um, and start of the week. So I'm just looking forward to it and I am looking forward to just reading on the way there. You know, it's a long drive. So before, uh, and Amon and I would plan it, I would be like, oh, but we have to sit in the car for five hours. But now I'm like, I get to sit in the car for five hours and read a book. So I am taking two books with me. I'm taking, let me show you guys, hold on. I don't think I read both books on this uh, getaway but um, I'm taking both just in case. So I'm taking Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. A lot of you guys recommended this, so I'm so excited to read this. Um, if you guys, I'm sure, I don't know what books I've talked about already that I have read. If you guys hear little footsteps, it's Otis. Me, And then I'm also taking Beach Read by Emily Henry, and she's also the, the writer of, or the author of um, People We Meet on Vacation. So that was my first book that I read, and I will always hold, that, that book will always hold a special place in my heart because that's the book that really made me fall in love with reading. Um, it's the book that I've read, well, the book I've read the fastest, I think, is It Ends With Us. I think I read that in like a day and a half. Uh, People We Meet On Vacation, I think I read in like three days, uh, two or three days. But it's the first book that I read um, at that time so fast, and I feel like that's really what made me fall in love with reading. And so that book will always, always hold a special place in my heart. And it's such a cute book. It's like a cheesy love story. And you guys, I am a sucker for cheesy love stories. I'm a sucker for... I just anything like romance is like I just love it so movies um, books uh, stories just anything that has to do with love and romance I just love it so I bought beach read because he also wrote it so I'm assuming it's also gonna be good and cute and fun fact I don't read the back of the books I like to be surprised I don't want to have any notion of what I'm getting into um, so I don't read the back of the books I just go based on what you guys are recommending and I'm just buying those and I'm reading them and once I'm done with the book then I read the back of the book kind of I know it sounds like a little weird, like everyone I tell that, and they're like, how are you reading a book that you don't even know what it's about? But I think that's what's the that's the exciting part about it, that I have no idea what I'm about to dive into. I don't know what where it's going to take me. And I feel like that's just like exciting. So I never read the back of the books, so I will find out. I don't know what these books are about. I will find out once I start reading them. So I'm, I do want to start reading Ugly Love first, and then once I'm done with Ugly Love, if I finish it, then I will start Beach Read. So I'm taking both of these with me. Those will go into my little, um, like carry on we're driving there but it's gonna be like the bag that's gonna be with me that's not gonna be like my suitcase uh, so yeah so I just wanted to show you guys how I travel and all of that I think I talked forever you know me I can talk for hours so I'm gonna get in the shower I also have a ton of stuff to do today but one of the things once I get out of the shower I want to start I want to write a list of things that I need so what I do is I write out a schedule of how many days I'm gonna be gone and then from the schedule I plan out my outfit so it's like I need a travel outfit and then depending on what we're doing uh, while we're out there I know I need an outfit for Napa um, normally when we go to his family's house most of the time we just hang out at their house so we don't really go out so it's always like comfy clothes um, but I'm gonna run the schedule by with Dennis yeah I'm gonna get a shower and then I'm gonna have breakfast I haven't had breakfast I did wake up early so I'm really excited about that ready um, I'm gonna get in the shower and I'll see you guys once I get up okay I finished getting ready but I'm running so behind I will um, finish all my packing or not even start my packing stuff when I get back I want to show you guys my outfit. I'm wearing this crop from Allery, this blazer, Zara jeans, and my shoes are from Tony Bianco. Makeup is really simple. So we're about to head out. We're going to the Murad event. Running super, super behind. I'm starving. 
Um, and I'm sure we're gonna go have lunch somewhere because my stomach right now is like growling. I'm okay, thank you. Thank you. Actually, you know what? I'll take one. Mm, sorry. No, you're good. I'll take a napkin first. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, enjoy. Thank Thanks. you so much. Just got a little baby sushi. Look how little this is. <laughs> We just got here to the Murad event. It's super cute. They have a little golf cart with flowers. And then they have like these little, you can get your shirt embroidered. They have a bar back there. We got two drinks. Right here, non-alcoholic. Who are we? This one's mine? This is the first time. We ever first to time, event. yeah. But it's good. It's a little cucumber. Cheers. Moment. We are back home. We just got back from Target. So we went to the Murad event as you guys saw and Then we went to go have lunch and came home changed So I put on something more comfortable because I was not hold on. Let me show you guys Boom because I was not about to go to the mall in heels because I was wearing heels no, I mean not the mall Well, we were originally gonna go to the mall But then we ended up going to Target because really all I wanted to buy was a beanie which I'll show you guys I ended up picking up this cute black beanie and some socks. I'll show you guys my favorite socks too. So I wanted a black beanie for my outfit that I'm gonna wear to Napa. I'm just doing, um, well I'll show you guys because I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna pack and everything. So I just got this little cute black beanie. It was five dollars. Let me see. With beanies you have to like I don't know, I thought it was cute. I'm going to be wearing like this cute um, top with a jacket and my black jeans. And I'm probably going to do either my gray, uh, this, what do they call it, the shadows or my mochas. And for socks, okay, anyway, if you guys are looking for beanies, they have them at Target for five bucks. This one's five dollars. It's from the Wild Fable. I'm pretty sure I have a black beanie, but it's up on like... At, I have a black beanie, but I think it has a little pom-pom, and I don't want a pom-pom. Okay, the socks I got are these, and these are the Hanes. I get them from the kids section, shoe size 5 to 9, but they are from the kids, kids section. But I like them because they are super comfy. How do I open this? Here they are. So, these are the socks. I wear a size 5 and a half, 6, and I love these. They're from the kids section. So, if you guys wear my same shoe size, these are nice and comfortable. Oh, oh, hi, Tidinga. This is their socks. Let me show you guys chubby lumpkins. Never mind chubby lumpkins. Okay, hold on. Oh, one, two. Oh. This is my chubby lumpkins. My lots of the bear. Mm. Mm. Woo! You guys, if you have pets, do you ever ask yourself, how is it possible to love an animal? I mean, I know it's possible because animals are the absolute best, but it's like, how does my heart not burst? You know what I mean? Because I love them so, so much. So, we went to Target, um, got what we needed, and now we're back home. I just finished doing my list. So, I have a few things I need to do, things that I always do before we go on, on trips or vacation, whatever. I always get the house together, so I'm going to start organizing because the house is quite a mess. And then, this is really like the first thing I always do. I start making a list so first i make a schedule i'm like okay I'm, i leave friday i come back monday and what am i doing every single day to know what outfits i need so fridays are travel day um so pretty much whatever i'm going to travel in that's probably what i'm going to spend the rest of the day in so i just put travel outfit day outfit and i don't think we're going out or doing anything i think we're just going to stay at his aunt's house and then saturday i just put casual warm so really anything because again we're not doing anything crazy we're just going to be spending time with the family so i just put casual warm so i just need to find something that's going to be casual and warm and then sunday i put napa outfit which i think i already have an idea of what i'm wearing and then monday i just put travel outfit because obviously that's the day we're coming back so for that i'll probably just wear like sweats a crop top a sweater something super easy super cash and then i make another list below that which is this one and it's things to pack. So on that, I have my vitamins, books, laptop, notebook, ear pods, pillow, PJs, toiletries, accessories, makeup, slippers, robe, vlogging camera, blanket, chargers, and snacks. And as I'm going through like my day and I think of something, I write it down that way I don't forget. And a lot of the times, 
writing a list like this helps me pack everything I need. It's very rare that I actually forget something because I take my time and I start my list. So you can really start your list the moment you you know you're going to take this trip. Uh, so that way you know you write everything down and you don't forget anything. So those are the things that I need to do. Once I do my list, then I want to prep the house. So... I will um, start washing dishes. If there's dishes I need to wash, luckily there's no dishes I need to wash. I just need to clean my house. Let me show you. Not clean, but organized. So we have the boys here who are always at my side and I love it. And then over here I have a bunch of stuff. So clearly I want to clear the, um, the island, make sure everything is gone. I did go to Starbucks and I did a little matcha run, which is so yummy. I asked her if she could make it ha less sweet, but I guess the powder is already sweetened. So I just told her not to add that much powder and it tastes very yummy. And when one made a coffee, he left it right here. He likes to do that. He just like takes little sips. So I'm drinking my matcha. So I am energized. This my friends is a disaster. So I want to clear this whole table. So when I get back, I can get straight into working because I'm coming back on a weekday and it's going to be a work day. So I want to make sure Everything is cleared off the table. The house looks good so that I can just work and I don't have to worry about coming home and putting the house You know what I mean organizing the house So we have a lot of stuff that I need to clear here all my books like there's so many books My plan is to put all my books in here So I need to clear one of these out and then I over here. I have to do the bed uh, just for a few hours because then we're going to be going to bed, but it's fine I still need to do the bed. This is a disaster, but I left it like this because Almost everything that's on here, I'm going to pack with me, so there's no reason for me to put it away. So I'm just going to grab my travel bag, and I'm going to bring it over here, and I'm going to start putting everything in my travel bag. I'll show you guys what I pack. I normally pack very light makeup, especially on a trip like this, because I'm not going to be doing lashes. I'm not, it's not like I'm going to be going out to like a special event or anything like that. So it's just simple, simple makeup, pretty much just what I've been doing these last couple of days. That's nice and clean. I just lit a candle there and then I have one there. I am gonna sit back down because I've didn't finish on some work, but I'm happy that it is cleared. I am still working on this side though. There's just a few things. I put a little pile together here. Um, this is everything I'm taking with me. So my notebook travels with me everywhere because this is where I have all my work stuff, book ideas, whatever. My beanie, I need to put that with all the clothes. My laptop, my water bottle, my books, my sunglasses, my pen. So all this is gonna go with me on the trip. So I'm just I'm just kind of stacking stuff here. I'm gonna move this to the table because I'm gonna do some work. But at least we got half of the cleaning organizing done. I already turned that light off because I didn't need it on. You know, we gotta save some electricity here. Now I have separated all my outfits since I know what I'm wearing when and how many outfits I need to take. I always take a little bit extra because, you know, the overpacker in me. But I'm going to show you guys. So I'm taking this set. I actually just got this in the mail today. Yeah, today. And it's from Storia. Um, I believe it's a sister brand to Alani New, and they came out with activewear. So I'm going to take this just in case if in Napa, like, if we do something that's a little bit more like outdoorsy I guess and then I'm taking this one for Saturday this is like my casual at home with the family just something super simple I'm gonna pair this with my white Air Max and then for Napa I'm doing this outfit you can't really see but I'm taking my black Zara pants with the black beanie I'm taking this I got this at TJ Maxx it's a Vance Vince Camuto sweater uh, it's really soft so I'm wearing this together with a puffer jacket but I'm also taking this one because I can wear that with the pants and the beanie and the jacket and I'll see which one I feel uh, goes better. And then for either the return or the drive there, I am... Thanks. Very sexy. Thank you. Always hide my voice. Uh, for the return there, I'm taking some sweats. 
I'm taking a crop and a, a long sleeve just because I'm not sure what I want to wear. And then this super cute jacket that I got at Nordstrom. I completely forgot about it and Dennis just pulled it out. He's like, babe, you know you have this, right? And it's so, so cute. I love the way it looks. I got it at Nordstrom. If I can find it, I'll link it for you guys. This is also from Nordstrom. And then my PJs, which I got for Christmas. My dad bought them for me and they're also from Nordstrom. And then these are the cubes that I use. I got them on Amazon. They're the Amazon Basics. And these come in handy, Michelas. If you want to like pack everything good so I'm gonna put like either all my bottoms in one my tops I'll try to put the outfits together um, and then PJs and activewear and stuff like that so this is everything I'm taking as you guys can see it's not a lot I mean we're only gonna be there for Friday Saturday Sunday Monday so I'm trying to be very uh, like I want to pack things that I know for sure I'm gonna wear I don't want to overpack because I always overpack Okay, the other thing I like to do is I take my makeup bag, I take everything out because every tri trip is different. Um, even when I'm home, like, I don't always need to take everything that's in my bag. So I take everything out and I also take a little makeup wipe and I clean the inside because it's super dirty from all the makeup that's been in there. So I just take a wipe. Obviously, I can't do this with one hand, but this is the before. I'll show you guys the after once it's nice and clean. Okay, don't focus on the dirty towel, but my makeup bag is clean, and this is all the makeup that I'm taking. I know it seems like a lot, but <laughs> I promise it's not. Um, I, the other thing that I wanted to share with you guys that I always do is I sharpen my pencils. So whether it's an eyeliner, a lip liner, I already sharpened these, so I'm just going to go ahead and sharpen this one. I think this is the only one that... Oh, and the one that I have in my bag. Um just to make sure that they're nice and sharpened. I'm still gonna take the sharpener with me, but I don't know, I just like to have them nice and sharpened before I leave. And I'm just gonna start putting everything in the bag. Next on the list are my vitamins, and this looks insane, but these are the vitamins that I take every day. And I actually take more, but I'm not taking all of them. So I just have my multivitamin curcumin. And then these are um, just like a immune supplement. It has vitamin D and some other stuff. And then zinc. And I think that's everything. Oh, and then I also take another, another vitamin for like kidney to make sure my kidney and my um, gallbladder are healthy. And then these are the balanced pills. These, I don't remember. I put them in here, but I'm not going to take it because I don't remember what it is. So... These I'm just going to close. Hopefully they close. And then also my magnesium. So this is a magnesium powder. It doesn't have the best taste, but it's supposed to sleep and calm and balance your hormones. I have made it to my last packing thing. So this is what I'm going to take with me um, to travel. Like, not to travel, but that I'm going to take with me like in the car. I mean, everything's going in the car, but you guys know what I mean. Like, this is going to be, like, my handy bag. So, I got my notebook, a pen, because I always think of uh, video ideas or sometimes I just want to write some things down or my thoughts, whatever. OV, the most important thing, these books. So I'm taking my books. I'm taking three pairs of sunglasses because you guys know I love my sunglasses. So, I'm going to take these. These are my Bottega, and then these are my Celine's. Dennis got me these for Christmas. They're so cute. I was wearing those. I was wearing these today. And then these are my Amazons. I will link them for you guys. If I remember, actually, I will remember. I will link them for you guys. Um, vitamins, vitamins, sanitizer, Advil, because you just never know. And this is like my little handy bag. I have rose water spray because sometimes in the car my face will get dry. And then I'm also taking this. This is a defense refresh. It's a mist with sunblock because, you know, after a few hours you have to reapply sunblock. And we're going to be driving for a while. Hand cream. And a lip balm. So I just put that in this little baggie so I can have it handy. This is a blanket. They actually rave, rave. Oh my God. Rare Beauty gave this to me on the trip. So love this. Oh, and then this is my little jewelry case that I got on Amazon as well. I will link it for you guys. It comes in handy. So I have all my earrings here. Chunky hoops, thin hoops, little hoops. And then in here I have my rings. 
Um, they're supposed to go here, but because my ring size is so little, it doesn't fit. And then I have my necklaces. So all that is going to be packed in here. And the reason I'm packing my jewelry in here is because once I, once we get there, like once we're close, I'm going to put my jewelry on. But I don't want to have it on when I'm in the core. You know what I mean? Okay, this thing won't snap. So I'm just going to put all that in here. My laptop will go in here. The backpack is from base. I will link this as well. Let me open it. So this is the backpack, it opens all the way, and then this is for the laptop. It has different uh, compartments, so I'm just gonna put the laptop there and then everything else inside of it, and then I am done, Mishira. So it is a lot later than I would like. It's 11.30, um, I still have to shower, so I probably won't be getting into bed until midnight, which is so late for me, because now we go to sleep early, and I'm just like, ugh, I didn't wanna go to bed this late, but. Anyway, it is what it is, um, but I'm ready for bed. I am going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed all my little tips. Something either bit me or something gave me like an allergic reaction because I have a ton of little bumps on my forehead and it's itching right here. So I'm going to get a shower, wash my face, um, get in bed and get some rest. So. Thank you so much, Mr. Jess, for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed all the little tips I gave you. Let me know if you guys have any tips in the comments down below or how do you guys prep for your travel. Um, maybe I can learn something from you guys. So I love you, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!